hi everyone welcome to my channel uh, so I'm doing this video as kind of an introduction of myself where I am where I come from maybe what I do um, I don't make it so long and um, I'll make it in a special way uh, because I want to share with you uh, a little bit about who I am as a person uh, and what my DNA says about me. Um, so to start with, I, I am from Kenya. I was born in Kenya um, in a place called Embu. It's a small town near Mount Kenya. It's a beautiful place. It's always green. I love it. It's beautiful there. I just, you know, every time I think about where I was born, I just like disappear in my, you know, I disappear in my thoughts because it's such a beautiful place to be. Beautiful climate, always evergreen, flowing streams, you know, and then when you wake up in the morning, you open your window and if the weather is good, if it's not cloudy, you can see the peak of Mount Kenya with the snow covering the tops you know the peaks it's such a beautiful place and I just like being there and I'm so thankful that I was born there but you know every part of Kenya is really beautiful um, the central part with the highlands and all that it's wonderful with the with the coffee and tea plantations and all kind of crops it's a beautiful place but I also love other places like um, Nakuru uh, where I actually studied. I studied in near Nakuru at the Ejeton University in Joro. It's a, such a wonderful place. The Rift, you know, the Rift Valley region, all of it. It's so, so beautiful. And if you go to the cities, Nairobi is nice, but I'm a city, kind of a city guy, as you might have seen from my first video. I prefer being out there in the wilderness, you know, with the animals. And, um, but still, I like Nairobi. It's such a beautiful city. And um, every now and then when I'm in Kenya, obviously I pop in to see my friends who live there and we go out and stuff. But in most cases, you'll find me out there in the bush. The coast region is also beautiful. I mean, what what, what is there not to like about the coast? The Swahili culture, the food, everything. Or if you go up towards Eldoret, you know, I love Eldoret or... Kisumu, you know, the, the lake regions. Oh my God. Right now I'm having something the Germans call Heimweh. You know, like I'm getting homesick when I just think about it. Um, there are some parts of Kenya that I've never been to, like the northern part of Kenya, you know, Trukana, um, northeastern. I think, I don't think it's called northeastern anymore. The province. Uh, this is a place I'd like to visit one day. Um, but for now, all I can say is that the Kenyan uh, climate and the Kenyan landscape is very diverse and it's beautiful. And no matter where you're born, you should really value it because there's no place like home. Well, uh, that's where I was born and that's where I went to school and uh, to university to do my bachelor's. And I also started working in Kenya, but then I decided to move to Germany in when was that i forgot at the end of 2008 uh, i wanted to come and uh, pursue further studies make uh, you know do a master's degree and then after my master's degree i, I was working part-time and i was kind of liking it here and then um i decided to to continue you know educating myself because the education system here is really good in germany and so I decided to do uh, another program, an MBA this time around. And I'm very proud of my MBA because I did it in, you know, in German and in English. And at that time, my German was not so good, but I survived and I was really, really good at it. So um, I did that. And uh, after that, I was like, ah, I love this place. And well, I ended up staying. Long story short, I ended up staying here. And now I am a naturalized German citizen. But inside here, as you can see, me meaning Kenya, 
that I'm in Kenya, in my heart, I'm Kenyan forever. Uh, I never really wanted to post anything on my YouTube channel. I follow other Kenyan, uh, you know, you, YouTuber, uh, you know, content content creators in Kenya. Uh, English, you know, it's not my mother language. So if I make mistakes here and there, please forgive me. I don't speak English that well. Uh, but anyway, um, I decided to stay here. And I, as I was saying, I follow other Kenyan YouTubers, uh, African YouTubers also, Wodemaya is one of my faves, you know, uh, African Tigeress, she's, yeah, that's what she's called, yeah, <laughs> I love the content she creates, you know, like when she goes to the small villages where I would really want to visit Africa, when I, when I, when I, when I want to visit Africa, I want to go to the small, unreachable villages, you know, to see the real life, that's what I want to see, I don't want to see cities, cities are good, of course, and they present the world, to shoot, uh, like the way Wodemaya present, presents the world uh, to us, the African one to us, to show that Africa is just like any other place on the on Earth. But still, I like the the roots. You know, it's it's something about the roots that just make me come to life. So I like uh, the African tigress content too. Um, I like Wodemaya's girlfriend, uh, Paige, um, Miss Trude, um, Marwa. You know, all these people, uh, so many of them, I can't remember all of them. So if I didn't mention you, please don't be mad at me. And I also follow other you, uh, Kenyan YouTubers and African YouTubers in the diaspora. So um, I see what they do and it's, you know, it's a lot of work. And I am just amazed at how much, uh, you know, how much they put to make and create this content. And uh, I, I don't know if I can be that committed. And I've had thoughts of posting on my channel for so many years since I have this uh, YouTube account for many, many years. But every time I would just postpone it or I would make a video and then I would just, you know, get scared and I would just delete it immediately. You know, like I don't want people to see it. My cousin um, asked me to post a video of her dancing, some Kikuyu song. And that's what has been on my YouTube channel for a long time. Uh, but then I decided just to try and see what happens. You know, if you don't try, you never know. If they are haters, you never know unless you see the comments. If there are people who love my content, who knows? The point is I can't be posting so frequently as other YouTubers because I work full time. Um, I work, I mean, I when I came to study, I was in the, uh, you know, agricultural sector. You know, I was... I studied in Kenya agribusiness and then I came here, I studied agricultural economics, but then I decided to change slowly to computer studies, computer sciences. So right now I am working as an IT coordinator for a local German government uh, department. We create in-house softwares for different kind of things. I don't want to go into that. That could be another story for another day. It's not been an easy transition uh, to change careers, but uh, I did it and I'm proud of it. And I love what I'm doing. And uh, well, I'm really new into IT, but um, as I gain more experience, I enjoy the career in IT even more. So I hope in the future I will be better in the IT world and I will do better here on YouTube also as I learn the robes, you know, like the skills that I need to create content at high quality videos. I don't even have any specialized cameras so not. I'm taking this one with my, my phone and um, with my laptop. So um, that's it about me. Um, main points, I'm from Kenya. If you want to know the tribe, I don't like the tribe stuff. I'm of the Kenyan tribe, but if you want to know which language I speak, I speak Kiembu, that's my, my mother language. I speak Kikuyu, but not so well. Moriagado Anyoba. I speak a bit Kimeru. I speak Kikamba a little bit because I studied, I went to high school in Ukambani, Kathiani High School, hashtag Kathiani High School, them days when it was still mixed and when we were really doing well in exams. Kathiani, boys and girls, please, can you? Pull up your socks. We need to show them the light as we used to show them. You know, those days when I was studying Kathiani, we used to be up there with the top. I think we used to be top 30s, you know, when they used to rank schools 
the whole country. So you're really good in school. So Kadiani High School, please. Nekuyai. Nimu. Mikey Kampa, I forgot. Mwayaso. <laughs> um, um, I mean, uh, what else do I speak? A little bit of, a little bit of everything, but I, I don't know so much about other languages, the Kenyan languages. Obviously, I speak Swahili. I was quite good in Swahili in school. Uh, I scored an A in school. Kwa hivyo mimi Kiswahili mufti ama Kiswahili sanifu naweza kiongea bila shinda. Mimi nikienda nikienda uh, pwani uh, nitaweza kuingiana na watu wa pwani mpaka wasijue mimi nimetoka bara. Ushanifahamu. Uh, I cannot speak a little bit Sheng. Uh, but my sister, my younger sister thinks I'm very terrible in Sheng, so I think I'll not try that. And of course I speak German. Uh, hello, ihr Lieben. Uh, für alle meine deutschen Zuschauer ist ich grüße euch äh, und herzlich willkommen in meinem YouTube Channel und ähm, ich hoffe dass ihr findet meine YouTube Content interessant falls was langweilig ist einfach bei mir melden okay ich liebe euch und and a little bit äh, Swabian which is the local German dialect hier instead of the, the standard German they say ich bin Elias That is my name is Elias or I am called Elias. Uh, the Swabian will never say ish, they will say e. So e bin Elias. They, they will not say Fais, which is do you know, like do you know, like ish Fais. They will say Fais. <laughs> I so ich kann auch ein bisschen, ein bisschen Schwäbisch schwätze, aber nicht so gut. Aber ich lerne noch, okay? So uh, I don't make this video so long. So the other part that I said, that's biological me uh the other part that i wanted to tell you uh, about myself a few years ago i did uh, a dna test an ancestry dna test um i just wanted to find out you know because it was the hype on youtube and everybody was doing it and i just wanted to know my dna composition so i took two tests um one with 23 and me and the other one was with uh my heritage and i would like to uh, share with you uh, you know my dna content i was a bit surprised um i would i was expecting to be i don't know what i was expecting to be i was expecting to be 100 percent kenyan but there's nothing like kenyan you know because kenya is made of different communities with different heritages and obviously different dna um, stories and But still, I was hoping to be like 100% Bantu, you know, because um, my community, Embu, is a Bantu, it's a, you know, are they called the Eastern Bantus, you know, so I would have expected to be 100% Bantu, which is African, that's the main thing, I'm African. But anyway, I received, first I received the result from my heritage, and I will uh, try to show you these results, uh, From my heritage first i hope uh, this is going to work as i said i'm recording with my phone it's a bit stupid here uh, so i'm going to change screens now and i will uh, show you uh, the screen from my heritage and uh, as i said i'm new to this and um, i'll try my best but i hope this this is gonna work um so um According to my heritage, now, here we go. According to my heritage, uh, <laughs> does this, see now, I'm learning these things. Um, anyway, according to my heritage, I am, um, Of course, almost 100% African, but they say that um, my DNA composition is about, um, I have to go to DNA then overview, ethnicity estimates. Um, I am 58.9% Kenyan. I will link this, uh, I will show this um, statistics at the end of the video 
it says that I'm 58%, 58.9% Kenyan, <laughs> whatever that means, and 14.5% Somali. Do you look Somali? Wherever, I don't know. And 7.9% Maasai. And 7.4% Sierra Leonean. 6% Nigeria. Ogama Broda, yay! 1.4% uh, Central African and 1.2% Northern Africa. So Kenyan is just there, Kenya. Somali, obviously, who doesn't know where Somali is? Maasai is part of Kenya. I mean, I don't know why they would classify Maasai as different from Kenyan. It's it's a bit stupid, this classification. It doesn't make sense to me. Because Maasai is one of the communities, communities in East Africa, you know? Although they, 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 they are in Kenya and in Tanzania, but well, they are, they are Kenyan. The Maasai in Kenyans are Kenyans, right? And then Sierra Leone, uh, that should be somewhere in the West. Nigerian, Central Africa, and Northern Africa. And I have 1.5% from Middle, Middle East. Mimi Mwarabu. Salaamu Alaikum. And then 1.2% from the Baltic. Like for real. Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, you know, that's a Baltic area. Hell, please. I'm melanated and I love my color. Though I went for holidays and I came back looking this way. <laughs> Can you see that? I'm kind of losing my color. So that's my ethnicity estimates according to my heritage, which I don't really like so much, but it's good. It's really nice. I, I like my, my Maasai percentage and I like the Somali percentage. Now, according to 23andMe, now I moved to 23andMe, 23andMe uh, is quite detailed. Uh, if, if you like to know um, a little bit more about yourself, I would recommend going to 23andMe because they also give you several free reports about your health and stuff and you can check it out for yourself. I'm, I'm not going to go into details, but it's really nice. Well, of course, the, the kits, the, you know, the test kits, they, they, they cost different prices. You can check that on the website. I don't want to go into those details. Or you can check other YouTube uh, uh, persons who have done tests. You can check to see how much they costed. Um, well, according to 23andMe, my ancestry conversation, uh, if I can get it, there it is. It says, I am 100% Elias. Elias is my name. I am 81 point, okay, I am 99.6% Sub-Saharan African. Yes, said I'm African. But it says I am 81.1% South, Southern Eastern, Southern East Africa. So that. That, that includes Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Angola. That's 81.1%. And that's quite on point, I, I might say, because that's like the Bantu area. And, um, and actually, they even say here that starting around 3,000 years ago, Bantu speakers carried me metallurgy, whatever, and agriculture, I think that's metallurgy, I think metal work. Agriculture from the highlands of Nigeria and Cameroon in two major streams, one southward and one east ones, resorting in ancestry that transcends geopolitical borders. Bantu is a term widely used to describe the largest of Africans ethno-linguistic families. Avanto. And by the way, yeah. In Kiembu, we say Ando. In Kikamba, they say Abanto, Denge, I think. In Kikuyu, they say Ado. In Kiswahili, Watu. And then, of course, Bantu. So you can start thinking where the name came from, Bantu. You know, it, Bantu just means people. Okay, and out of that, out of the 81.1% Congolese and South, Southern Eastern Africa, I am... Um, 74.5 percent southern east africa which with uh with a high probability that i came from kenya by the way before before i go on when I, before i made these tests i did not say where i 
come from and I just used my German name, uh, you know, I have a German family name and I did not give them much details because I did not want them to cheat. So afterwards when I got the test, that's when I gave them a bit of details that they can, you know, learn a bit more about me. But they were really on point, 23 and me was really on point. So 74.5% southern eastern africa southern east africa with a great probability that uh, my recent ancestors came from kenya which is true as far as i know all my ancestors came from kenya you know from the central region of kenya around mount kenya and it says i am um so no let's go back it says i am 3.8 percent Angolan and Congolese and then 2.8% broadly Congolese and Southern East East Africa. I mean all this is East Africa for me. And then it says I have 16.7% Northern East Africa. This is again as remember uh, my 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 heritage said I am about 14.5% Somali which is like the North, uh, North East Africa, and now here uh, at 23 and me, they're saying Northern East Africa, I am 16.7%. It's almost uh, similar um, percentages. And out of this 16.7%, I am 10.8% Ethiopian Eritrean. I don't know that, but I'm, I'm coming uh, back to that in a while. Um, and then 0.9% Sudanese and then 5% broadly Northern Eastern Africa and the, that's Sudan, Eritrea, South Sudan, Ethiopia, Somali and then this, this Sudanese, where was it? Sudanese, okay, that's Sudan um, and um, Ethiopia, Eritrea, okay and they all uh, for every region where, where you have some DNA, they they you can uh, get a bit more details. You can just expand the sections that you can get more details. So, and then um, they say um, I have one point eight broadly uh, broadly sub-Saharan Africa, and the, some other trace and unassigned ancestry. And the trace ancestry is uh, broadly. European. So I think that's kind of noise. I live here. I interact with European people every day. So maybe I think that's just noise. So I, I don't really know what that is. Uh, but I want to come back here to this Northern Eastern Africa. You know, uh, that's a very huge percentage of DNA from Northern Eastern Africa. But I would like to see how this is going to develop in the future as, they, as more people from Africa take their ancestry DNAs. And I would encourage you, if you can spare the coin, make the test so that you can uh, you know make the um the uh, you know uh, the 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 uh, sample is still very small for africans especially sub-saharan africans and i mean melanated sub-saharan -sub -sub africans you know um and it could be nice if you have more samples that because the more data they have the more accurate the estimates will be so it would be fun to see um what's going to happen in the future but this percentage kind of passed with me because uh growing up people used to call me and my brothers and my sisters they used to call us uh warrior i think you know people you know what warrior means i don't like that term i think it's uh, it's insultive you know uh, and it, it it reversed to the somali people and i don't know why they would call us that because i never had any interactions with the somali people and but later i came to realize to realize that they were calling us that because they thought we had somali features and we had well i don't have any hair right now but um if you check like my younger brother or my pictures when i was younger my hair is very very curly it's extremely curly curly hair you know and like one of my sister her hair when it, when it's longer it's extremely curly and so the villagers would look at us and they'll they be like this ones they are not embus they're somalis which was really weird because until today i can't explain what happened in our family and all we have we have this curly hair and these other features 
I can't answer that, but where my DNA says that I have some um, DNA from those parts of uh, East Africa where these features are found, you know, the curly hair and whatever, Somali, Ethiopian features, whatever they are, I don't know. For me, as I said, I'm 100% Kenyan, I'm 100% African, I'm 100% melanated, I'm 100% human being, and I think that's what's important for me. But it was really good to know that... Uh, well, whatever the villagers were saying had some kind of a truth in it. I would like to find out from my family if we had any in the past, if there was any intermarriages between us and maybe people from Ethiopia or people from Somali. But also thinking where we live, you know, Embu, Meru, if you look at the surrounding communities, we are really close to these communities, you know. It's not that far, maybe in the past when they had wars, in intertribal wars, maybe they were also into tribal marriages but nobody can remember because such a long time ago i am only able to trace my ancestors um until my great great grandfather actually grandmother i met her before she died that's the grandmother of my dad i met her before she died but she, she didn't know who i am and um I, I, that's the only great ancestor that i know after that, I don't know anybody else, and I asked my dad, they don't know much about them, so nobody knows what happens in the past. Anyway, guys, that was my story of getting to know me, um, and I hope you liked it, uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Sorry, uh, the video became a bit longer than I intended. Next time, if you people are good to me, and if you like my videos, I might talk about that little boy. Oh, yeah. But it only if you are good to me. Okay, stay blessed, stay melanated, love yourself, and know that black lives matter.